And what is going on everybody, I'm Sigurdly Toasty here, and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. As you saw in the title, this is going to be a Pixel Car Racer, all body kits on dot 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 video. Today, as you saw in the title already, because you clicked on the video, we are doing the 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. Now before I start this build, I'm just going to make the car look a little better. So I'm going to buy black paint, because what's a 77 Trans Am without black paint? Do do do. Let me just fix my tripod real quick. Give me one second. Alright, so now on to the wheels. Just because I want to get like that American style racing wheel. You know, like the American muscle wheel. Right now they have like a weird like generic wheel on it. Where I wanted this one. And then of course you gotta have the signature little spoiler. So put on the stock spoiler, the black paint. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep it blue just for the simple fact that you need to be able to see the body kits. Oh, those are ugly. Eh? Those are ugly wheels. Let me just go buy some beefy tires real quick just to even that out. Sorry, sorry for the little mess of video we have going on so far. Or at least I have going on so far. There we go. Now the tires are beefier. Let's put some body kits on this thing. So first off, we're going to start with the Pandem kit. Gives it a little bit of a front end spoiler. Makes the wide... Eh, wide body looks... Ew, never mind. It ruins the back end. The wide body makes it look terrible. And the front end is alright, I guess. This is a video that I've been making a, I've been wanting to make for a little while now. Why does it make it look like a IROC Camaro in the front end? Who cares? I've wanted to make this video for a while now. That's actually not too bad. Because of the simple fact that um it's a it's an American muscle car. You don't see body kits on this. All right, you know what? Let's just dump these stupid wheels. Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm just being indecisive. Lower it a tiny bit. Give it the most generic black wheels. I'm just trying to get through this fast so you can get to what you actually clicked on the video for and now those wheels look dumb alright that's a better stance front end looks terrible the back end looks alright I still have the rocket bony kit on the CRX <laughs> give me one second okay so now that I fixed that little problem Rocket Bunny, eh, front end's not too bad, I guess. The wide body's tasteful. And the rear end's actually not too bad. I give that a solid, like, 7, maybe 6.5 out of 10. I don't know, I really like it. It fits it, I mean, it's not the best. I've pro I probably, I'm going to probably see a better one in the next upcoming body kits. But for now, it's pretty nice. Oh, that is very... Uh, that, that's almost exactly like the Pandem kit. Just instead of a... Instead of the rubber... Uh, not rubber. Instead of the plastic bumper that it comes with, it gives it like a chrome bumper. Kind of like the 70... Kind of like the 70 to 73. Oh, don't tell me it's going to make it just a replica of that. That's exactly what they did. If you don't know Trans Ams, that's the front end of the other one. Okay, I can... I can live with that. That's pretty nice. The back end is a little weird, but I'll live with it just because it's... It's kind of like the one they had for that generation that they're trying to copy. Again, it's, it's kind of like the, um... It's kind of like the conversion that you can do to the Charger to make it a Daytona. Anyways, I want to see this one. Oh, that's already terrible. 
Oh, that's already atrocious. The wide body is molded into the door as well. Hey, at least they didn't ruin the rear window. No, I don't like it. 4 out of 10, maybe? I'm not giving all these ratings. I'm just trying to portray my opinion through some of them like that. Anyways, the BN kit adds a little bit of a skirt to it. So, you know. I don't like it. Maybe if you were to, like, run this as similar to, like, a Bosuzoku style, maybe. I don't like it. Not my personal taste. This drag kit, this drag fun is actually a lot better than the other one. So I think this might be the perfect kit. At least the perfect drag kit. Yeah. I give this a solid 9.5 out of 10. Just for the simple fact that they... That, like, the rear end is just the stupidest little, like, chipping of the bumper. Otherwise, it would be... If it just left it alone, perfect 10 out of 10. Run it like that, perfect 10 out of 10. Anyways, rear bar kit. That looks stupid. Front bar kit. That looks... Uh, actually, that's not too bad. Yeah. I don't know, 5 out of 10, maybe. Adds a little bit of a lip. That's actually that's actually kind of close to the one they had for, uh, one they had stock. I don't think there's a kit for this one. Yeah, it's just the bar and then the delete kit, so. I like it. It's alright. Not my personal test taste, but, you know, it's whatever. Delete kit. Deletes the rear bumper. Let's just set that so the little lip is on, on the side. Oh, sticker bomb, duh. Okay, let's take off the delete kit real quick. You got sticker bomb. If you could do it to the back end, it'd be pretty okay. I mean, I'm not too big of a fan of sticker bomb, but if you were, if I was, then I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. I don't know. Anyways, delete kit, and this one's gonna be this one's gonna be interesting. Delete kit. The front end on this car actually looks pretty good without the without the front bumper, just for the simple fact that it cuts off quite a bit. I don't know. I like how it looks. A lot of people don't. I don't know why. Um. Sorry, I was trying to trying to think of something to say there, but I couldn't think of anything. Honestly, none of these body kits are perfect. But if I had to choose one, it'd be this kit. Oops, I passed it. That would be my perfect kit, right there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the engine stock. Let's go. Right here, it says we are making 220 horsepower. Let's see what the dino says. So we are realistically making 205, which is 15 off of what the actual thing said, so that's kind of upsetting. But it is 205, and this car, I think, only came stock with, like, 168. So, because, like, emissions and stuff like that back in the day, back in the 70s when the oil crisis was happening. Uh, what am I doing? Drag, free run, manual, quarter mile, day, go. I forgot how low revving these old V8s are. Or actually, V8s in general. V8s don't really rev up that high. I 
I keep wanting to go for the nitrous button, but I forgot I don't have one on this. Oh, hey, that's where my blue stylus went. I just found my blue stylus on my desk. I'm looking for that. Alright, so let's see what we got. 12.96. 12 second quarter mile. Even if it is high 12s, it's still pretty good. Especially for 220 horse, uh, 205 horsepower. And weighing at 3,656 pounds. So, that's pretty good for a big old underpowered boat. That's as aerodynamic as, well, almost as aerodynamic as a brick. Uh, actually, let's go to Street Toge Manual. Why not take it to Japan? Day, let's go. Acura TLX, which is funny because that's an American made car. Yes, it's made by Honda, but Acura is the Americanized version. And then Pontiac is a fully American car. Or rather, American car company. So, both Americanized cars. Mine's even an American muscle car. If this one even counts as muscle. Because it's so underpowered. Hey. And was that an NC RX? Oh, not RX7. Uh, MX5? Sorry. I've been thinking about the FC in uh, FR Legends. Trying to make a video of that somehow. So, when I said NC, it immediately clicked with uh, RX7. I do apologize. I do not... I do not mix those up usually. I've just been trying to make videos and I got the FC in my head right now. Uh, let's go see if we can do a burnout in this thing since it's so underpowered. Somewhere in Japan. Hey, that's actually correct. I am somewhere in Japan. Or at least in the game I am. I've always wanted to visit Japan. I want to see Sakuba. I know it's not going to be like Tokyo Drift or anything, so don't tell me that in the comments. But like, I just want to see Sakuba. I want to see just where everyone goes to drift and stuff like that. I also, I'm actually interested in like what what would be a normal car. Like here, like here, everyone knows someone who drives in, like a Civic or an Accord or a Camry or a Corolla. But, like, as I've been told, that's not the common car they have over there. I could be wrong. They could be full of absolute BS. But who knows? Actually, someone who's been to Japan knows. But anyways, I'm surprised this thing did a burnout since it was so underpowered. Did it say torque? I don't remember what the torque was. Give me a second while I go f figure that out. Alright, so I just did the dyno and everything, and surprisingly enough, it was 146 at 911 RPM, and it didn't even change to, like, it didn't even gain any until, like, five, 6,000, so it was full torque, or at least almost full torque, really low end, like, I'll do it again for you if you want. Like, see how it started off at 140? 141? 142? 143? See how it drops when I get up in the RPM? And then watch it. Watch it, once it gets up to like 5,000 RPM, it starts gaining. See? And then at the high end, it's 93 pound-feet of torque and 178 horsepower. Hmm. This engine's weird. Anyways, I'm in the video here because it's a million degrees and I have school in the morning and it is currently tomorrow. So technically, I have school in less than six hours. Well, actually, technically eight, but I gotta wake up in less than six hours because I gotta wake up at six. I have a long morning, 
So, anyways, I'm in the video here. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video. Also in the comments, tell me questions. No, why do I keep saying that? Just talk to me down in the comment section. Love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive and good replies to positive, good, and supportive comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite me. I'm all about spreading positivity. By the way, if you want positive content, go to my Twitter. My Twitter is filled with positive stuff. I'm sorry for the sneezing in the background. Someone can't keep their nose shut. Anyways, uh, sorry, that was that was a little bit unpositive, actually. Ooh, I do apologize. Sorry, just a little salty. And that's not from the sweat. That was gross, but it was still funny. Anyways, above the Twitter, there are two Instagram accounts. Number one is my main, so go follow that one. It's just to keep up to date with me and the channel. So if you want to, go follow that one. Instagram number two is automotive, so cars, trucks, soon to be motorcycles too, uh, Forza, Legos, um, RC, you know, anything you can think of that involves cars, trucks, and soon to be motorcycles, um, yeah, it's there, you'll find something that you like, and hopefully you like a lot of it, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you know, if I want to post videos, I post every other day, but not at that time, so that's what you can need the bell icon for, and I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.